The streets of downtown Spokane are becoming more biker friendly. This fall, bicyclists will notice a traffic lane just for them on several downtown streets. KXLY4 Sally Showman is live downtown tonight. And Clyde, before now, there have been no bike lanes in downtown Spokane at all. But by November, there'll be a full and complete loop around the downtown core. You can see some of the lanes are already complete. I think the lanes will definitely clear up a lot of that mess and make cars and bikers more aware. of. Most of the time, Dan Zickler is either working on a bike or riding one. It's good to see it happening here. The bike lanes downtown are not only a convenience thing for Zickler, they're a comfort thing. Make it a lot more enjoyable, not having to worry about looking behind your back and seeing some crazy <laughs> drive up behind you. Yeah. So awesome. try to take, take you out and honking at you. The bike lanes are just to improve awareness that cyclists have the same rules of the road as motorists. We all have a right to be on the road. The new lanes loop around the downtown core from 4th to Spokane Falls Boulevard and from Howard to Jefferson, and then they extend north of town on Howard to Buckeye. Another tool in our toolkit. 90% of the loop is made of designated lanes. The rest is either on the sidewalk or a shared lane with cars designated by this symbol, the Shero. So when you see a cyclist driving in the Shero, the motorist should drive around them, not occupy the lane side by side. Zickler says these lanes are an open invitation for people to join him on the streets of downtown Spokane. Well, hopefully it gets people out riding more and uh, just makes people more aware that it's good for the community and the environment as well. I talked to a couple other bikers today. Some say the city still has a ways to go to become biker friendly. Now the city tells me this is just one of the first steps in its master biker plan uh, for the city. I also should mention that no city dollars are going toward these bike lanes. It's funded completely by a federal grant and costs about $600,000. Live in downtown Spokane tonight, Sally Showman, KXLI4 HD News.